And now, the general weather around Alaska. Starting again today with satellite imagery, you can see a uh, front out through this area and an intense low developed along that frontal boundary there as a lot of cold air came into the south and southwest across the Bering Sea here. And that uh, brought very strong winds to the Pribilof Islands today, the central eastern Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula, and also along the southwest coast here. And uh, that front pushing in toward Kodiak Island, a little bit of a break right through here to the northeast of that from the oh, western Gulf of Alaska on up in toward the Seward Peninsula. As uh, this area of moisture, another low pressure area, much weaker than the one out here to the west, moved northward here. and. Uh, Brought, again, another wet day across South Central Alaska, the North Gulf Coast, in across the Panhandle. You can see lots of moisture down in this area. And uh, on the chart today, you can see uh, low pressure tracking up right up in toward Cook Inlet and the Susitna Valley. And that brought uh, about a third of an inch of precipitation in areas of Anchorage today, mostly in the form of rain. Some of that mixing with snow down towards sea level this afternoon. But uh, wet conditions, again, anywhere from a half inch to an inch and a half of rain today during the day uh, Sunday here from western Prince William Sound over to Yakutat into the northern Panhandle with lighter amounts down to the south there. Another week low here trying to track northward, keep it wet uh, this evening for the Panhandle. And here's this front now making landfall in toward the southwest coast this afternoon. And that brought wind gusts earlier today to 70 miles an hour out over the Pribilof Islands, both St. Paul and St. George there, and winds gusting 40 to 50 miles an hour across the uh, east central Aleutians, all the way up to the uh, Alaska Peninsula today. Shimmy had a wind gust of 61 miles an hour as one of these troughs came through, and that uh, drop or precipitation associated with that was in the form of snow out there, temperatures in the, right around 30 degrees. Otherwise, uh, by comparison, a drier, lighter wind day here for the interior with uh, maybe a little bit of snow scattered around the Yukon River there, but uh, very light as far as any precipitation goes, very light winds as well. For tonight, uh, another low tracks up as this uh, front pushes northeastward, a weak low develops there. So after a little bit of a let up in the precipitation this evening, more rain and snow pushes in tonight, Kenai Peninsula into South Central Alaska. It stays wet along the North Gulf Coast. And uh, precipitation becomes more showery here over the panhandle or the rainfall more intermittent. And uh, low pressure tracking back to the northwest a little bit, but that'll keep gusty winds and across St. Lawrence Island, possible gusts 50 miles an hour and about 30 to 40 miles an hour in gusts here for the southwest coast. Snow showers, uh, surges of uh, snow showers coming westward here across the southern Bering Sea and to a lesser extent over the Aleutians. And then looking ahead to tomorrow, this front will bring some light snow up into the central and northern interior valleys, uh, Koyukuk Valley back toward uh, the Western Brooks Range there. Snow changing to showers for Kotzebue Sound, Seward Peninsula snow showers, snow showers down over the southwest interior. This low tracking northward, so rain and snow begins to taper off again from southwest to north-northeast here over the Kenai Peninsula and Cook Inlet. Front right along the North Gulf Coast promises another wet day there into the Panhandle and uh, rain for the Alaska Peninsula with that weak warm front in that position. And then for the day on Tuesday, kind of a change here, high pressure developing there over the Yukon, and that's gonna dry it out over the southeast coast. It'll dry it out also over the North Gulf Coast, but still some showers will linger due to southerly and southeasterly flow still coming in off the Pacific. But the eastern interior here looking pretty good, uh, a little breezy there in the eastern Alaska range, as it has been around Delta Junction, could still see winds gusting 30 to 45 miles an hour there. Otherwise, light winds up to the northeast, dry conditions to the North Slope and Arctic coast. Snow showers here in the west with this weak low uh, coming up toward uh, or into the Yukon Delta. Light snow, snow showers there all the way down into Bristol Bay. Mixed rain and snow, Kuskokum Valley into the Western Alaska Range. Rain for Kodiak Island and uh, rain and snow showers now for the uh, central and eastern Aleutians with a weak low in this position here and just a uh, chance of some scattered rain and snow showers for the Pribilof Islands with pretty light winds. Lows tonight uh, up here in the northeast interior, that'll be the coldest as well as the north slope and Arctic coast, uh, five to 10 degrees for the lows. 
5 to 15 central interior, much milder south of the Alaska range here in the uh, lower 30s, mid 20s, lower 20s for the Copper River Basin, upper 20s for the Prairie Bluffs, lower 30s St. Lawrence Island, and lower to mid 30s for the central and western Aleutians. And for Bristol Bay, lower 30s as well. And for the Panhandle, mostly in the lower to mid 40s. Highs for tomorrow, uh, mid to upper 40s for the southeast coast. And uh, again, in the 30s, still above freezing for the highs tomorrow, areas south of the Alaska Range, exception in the Copper River Basin, but North Gulf Coast, mid to upper 30s for the highs. 20s, central interior to the Brooks Range and teens for the North Slope and the Arctic Coast. Lows on Tuesday morning, anywhere from uh, zero to 15 over the eastern interior in the teens here into the central part of the state and heading down to the southwest here in the 20s for Bristol Bay, upper 20s for the Pribloffs, lower 30s for the Aleutians, mid 30s Alaska Peninsula, Kodiak Island, and out uh, into the 20s now for south central Alaska, even Homer dropping to about 32 degrees in the 30s for the Panhandle, and then highs, uh, 40s northern southeast coast, mid 40s down toward uh, Prince of Wales Island to Annette Island. And for uh, Copper River Basin, looks like lower 20s there, but still 30 to 35 here. So still areas getting above freezing, especially down toward Homer, Seldovia, Anchor Point, lower 40s to Kodiak Island, upper 30s to near 40 for Bristol Bay, 20s central interior all the way out to the Arctic coast.